I gotta say, this one here is pretty good. Been sitting on it for a while. I don't know why I didn't do a first impressions on this one. I kind of just picked it up and got into it as soon as I got it. Uh, I think I kind of forgot that this was a new release. This is a brand new 2022 release and uh, it's the new Armoff Club Dinoe Intense Man Limited Edition Parfum. So this one here apparently is a true limited edition because unlike most fragrances, they have it stamped right on the front of the bottle. I don't know how well you can see it, it's kind of a fingerprint magnet, but in red, limited edition. Right below it, Parfum. Then it is a uh, intense man. I believe it's a kind of an oddball size, 105 milliliters. Batch number 310840. There you go. So I have this one on my hand right now. I've been testing it for a good amount of time here. Now this is one that's fully available. You can get it on a couple discounters, I believe. I'll link it to the best price below. With this one being that it is one of their best selling lines, especially the Intense Man line being the Aventus clone, and also the fact that it does have a limited edition tied to it. These are gonna go in and out of stock often, so if you're kind of considering this one while you're watching this, I would hit the link down below and pull the trigger on it before it ends up selling out. You know, it'll come back in stock probably at some point, but this one's probably gonna be a little bit tough to get for a while, especially because it just came out. And being that it's a limited edition, I don't know if that means they're gonna produce it for one year, for two years, for three years, for six months, I don't know, but you know, they're, they mean business about it. Uh, they have an EDT, that's where it all started. They have an eau de parfum and now a parfum. So we're gonna go and dive into this one. Gonna tell you how it smells, how it performs, when you can wear it, how it compares to the other versions of Club de Nuit Intense Man, and more importantly, how does it compare to Aventus? And maybe what batches of Aventus does it compare to? Let's get into it. So let's go and start off with how this one smells. And I'll go ahead and do another spray just to kind of get the opening with you guys. When you first spray it up in the air or on skin, atomizer is good by the way, uh, you're greeted with Aventus, right? They're not being shy about it, they're not trying to cover it up. It is a blatant Creed Aventus clone, okay? Now one thing I noticed personally, back when I first tried it, was that the opening is really, really, really good. So if you guys can remember way back to when Club De New Intense Man was first put out, the EDT, and it was being hyped up, the main issue with that one, and it still does exist today, is the opening is not so good. Kind of gets compared to a lemon toilet cleaner because it's harsh, it's synthetic, the dry down is really good. The opening on that one, the EDT, is really not all that great. Now. You can kind of let that slide because the price point, especially at the time, was unbeatable. And it still is unbeatable, but at that time, there were significantly less Aventus clones. There were still a lot out there, but for the price point, that was kind of the main deal. And so people just let it slide. And really, you know, that's kind of what you got to do. Now there are so many more Armoff, or not sorry, there is the Armoff, but then there's Mont Blanc Explore. There's something like Mercedes Benz Select, kind of staying within that price range. There's probably a few more in that price range that I'm missing right now. And of course, the EDP, the parfum of this, but there's more options. So Armoff, kind of riding that success, put out an EDP, which was better, but also the parfum opening uh, is really, really good. You know, it opens up with that birchy, kind of uh, pineapple, bergamot lemon opening but the lemon is not sharp here you get that fruity black currant so it is very much a venta style now one thing that i notice on this one it really kind of hypes me up is as you start working into the mid following the dry down you get and i'm going to say this and you do pick up on it a smokiness now when you say smoky and aventus in the same sentence you will make a lot of people very mad because for those who are unaware, new batches of Creed Aventus are really not smoky at all. Um, the smoke came back in like the, what was it, pre-2014 era bottles, 13, 14, and before, you know, uh, original batches 2010 were very smoky. And so as time went on, as the IFRA got tighter with their restrictions, they had to change it, they had to reformulate it, the birch tar smokiness slowly trickled out to now if you smell 
2021, 22 batch of Creed Aventus, you're getting all sorts of fruits and not as much birch tar and basically zero smokiness. You're getting woods, but not smoke. Uh, with the parfum here, you do get some of that smokiness, some of that wispiness. And to be fair, you do get some of that uh, in the EDT of Club Doing Intense Man. Um, try saying that two times fast, three times fast. Club Doing Intense Man just kind of comes out after a while. Uh, but you do get it, right? Uh, EDP, same deal. More so birch, but still some smokiness. With this one here, you're getting like that smoke. Uh, I'll, I'll read off the note breakdown, even though you don't need to hear it. We've got pineapple, lemon, bergamot, black currant, apple up top, birch, jasmine, rose in the mid, musk, ambergris, vanilla, and patchouli in the base. Um, so pretty standard, right? Nothing really too out of the ordinary there. Um, believe it or not, some older batches of Creed Aventus had uh, some vanilla heavy uh, tendencies. 16A01 is a very popular vanilla one. So that note actually did show in some older Aventus. Um, not picking up really on too much of the vanilla in this one, but you do get a hint of a creaminess, especially as you reach farther into the dry down. I found after wearing it a few times, uh, I would pick up on kind of a sweetness, almost a vanillic sweetness. Now, it, it doesn't necessarily come through and scream vanilla. You know, it's not like you're smelling a uh, Mercedes Benz Club Black or something layered underneath, like it's not super strong. But again, you do get that smoothness, that sweetness and that creaminess which the vanilla would be kind of adding to that there. Patchouli, same deal, kind of giving it that masculine wood smell. The birch, giving it that smokiness, the woodiness. Uh, and then also, of course, a heavy dose of ambergris or uh, more probably in this instance, ambroxan. Um, that note's used heavily in most Creed fragrances. Um, Green Irish Tweed, Aventus, Milsim Imperial, Arolfa, um, you know, the list goes on. A lot of them are based around ambergris, ambrox, and whatever. And so here with this one, you get a good dose of it. Just gives it a brightness, a sparkle, that sort of thing. And it's it's prominent throughout the entirety of the scent. Uh, it doesn't mean it smells like Dior Sauvage or anything, but you do pick up on ambergris or ambroxan. So one thing that has impressed me the most about this uh, limited edition parfum here is just how consistent it has been on my skin. And what I mean by that is from the very first spray, like the top of the opening, immediately like right there, that quick, from that point, all the way into the far, far, far dry down to the point where it's kind of just starting to wither away off of my skin and we'll talk about the longevity in a second. Throughout the entire wearing experience, it's been consistently smooth and even accurate. You know, it kind of follows the way that Aventus transitions, starting with that pineapple bergamot top note, working into the mid, working into the dry down, you get all those different phases. This one follows along with that very well. I just really think they did a good job here. Uh, for me, the, the main factor is just how smooth it is and the quality to price ratio is impressive. Normally when it comes to Aventus clones, um, and sometimes it's like when I say Aventus clones, people think I'm saying Aventus colognes. Aventus clones, that word can kind of get mixed up in the fragrance community because you're saying it so fast. But in the world of Aventus clones, when you want quality, the fact of the matter is a lot of times you have to cough up the big bucks, so to speak, comparatively speaking to this, and go over to something like the Parfums Vintage. Now, people have their opinions about Parfums Vintage, and while they do have tons and tons and tons of different iterations, and it can be confusing and hard to keep up with, if you just go with something simple like Pineapple Vintage Intense, right off the top, make it super easy, kind of their best seller, you'll find that the quality is unparalleled to all of the others. Our Moff Club Doing Intense Man, EDT, Mont Blanc Explore, uh, Mercedes Benz Select, all of the other Creed Aventus style scents, the quality of the, par the Parfums Vintage, the PV, blows them away. Like, it's no question, right? It goes all of those, then Parfums Vintage, um, and then Creed Aventus, right? Now, you could throw in some niche like, uh, you know, Hassavat, Morning Chess, whatever, but not really talking about those, although, you know, those do c command the price tag as well. But with the Parfums Vintage, the quality is really above all the other cheaper clones. But it's to the point now with the limited edition Parfum here where this would be the next best bet. This would be your next stop 
if you're also prioritizing quality. If you don't wanna go all the way up to the Parfums Vintage level, but you have a bit more to spend, uh, rather than you know the $30, $40 of some of the others, this is the perfect middle ground. You're getting that increase in quality, you're getting that increase in concentration, a true Parfum, which is awesome, I love Parfums, and it really kind of lands at a nice spot here. And we'll go and touch on that performance here. Longevity on my skin has been consistently around the eight, nine, sometimes pushing 10 hour mark, which is really good. Now, Parfum, a lot of people expect 12 plus, you know, you get 12 plus from EDPs out there. You probably can get 12 plus from EDTs even. There's a few EDTs um, that I can think of, even summertime ones that get 12 plus. So concentration only goes so far. But again, when you're taking a look at price, quality, uh, scent, you know, eight, nine, 10 within that kind of range there depending on the weather that sort of thing has been very very good for myself here I can't complain um, the fact of the matter is if I want that nuclear performance then I would just go for Aventus because I have Aventus right it's not a problem for me um, for people out there who don't have Aventus but you're looking for that super super strong scent there are options like Hasavat which does stray further some of the Parfums vintage ones do get into that 12 plus uh, I don't really get that from the EDT or EDP of this I definitely don't get it from Explore I don't get it from Mercedes Benz Select uh, very few and far between there Aventus clone wise that you get into that 12 plus like actual Aventus that being said price point this one gets you close. If you want to get those extra three, four hours and spend an extra $50 on top of this to get into a Parfums Vintage just for those extra few hours of longevity, that is something you can do, but it's not something that everyone wants to do or that would be necessary. You could apply this one heavily, douse yourself in it, spray it on, spray your shirt, spray your clothing, spray the back of your hair or head if you don't have hair. Um, just spray down, load down with it carry a decant. The bottles are heavy, they're chunky, which is a good thing, but it's not something you'd want to carry in your back pocket, right? It, it, you know, it just probably would be, you would need a good belt because these are heavy. They do have, you know, solid uh, construction here. Carry a decant, right, if you're worried about it. But I think all things considered, performance is good. Projection for a Parfum is also above average. Uh, this one pushes out, especially with the few sprays and especially when you get it in the heat, when you get it in the sun. We've been having summer-like weather here. I've been testing it and it has been really filling up some rooms. It has been projecting some serious distances out in the heat. So performance all around is really good. Compliment factor, you guys know the drill. Of course, it's really, really good. Uh, if someone likes Aventus, you know, they're going to like the smell of this one as well. Um, people in the real world, non-enthusiasts, aren't gonna be picky on a real Aventus or a clone, whatever. The fact of the matter is this DNA is popular for a reason because it kills it. Uh, kind of to wrap it up here really quickly, smokier and sweeter compared to the EDT, of Club de Nuit Intense Man, in the EDP, and for that matter, also compared to new batches of Aventus. Smokier and sweeter, and talking about this line, this is the smoothest and the highest quality of them all for me. This is a true win, I really like it. It definitely redeemed itself here. Sucks that it's a limited edition, I don't know how long it's gonna be around. I do think I'm gonna pick up another bottle, honestly, I really do think. I don't need it, it's kind of ridiculous, but this one does have me impressed, for real. Like, this is good stuff. Alrighty guys, that's gonna do it for me. That's my thoughts on Club de Nuit Intense Man Parfum, the limited edition. You guys know the drill with these. If these start to catch on and get hype, stock is gonna go in and out. So if you're kind of on the fence, just pull the trigger now uh, because who knows how long it's gonna be around. I'm not saying that they're gonna get rid of it already, but in terms of stock, it may go out of stock and stay for a while. You never know. We'll link it down below. That's gonna do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.